It's time to put what we learned about modal and stack navigation into practice now. So what we're gonna build is this flow here where a user can open on the stack their signup form. They'll then be taken to the trips tab where they can open a modal to create a trip. So let's dive in. So we're gonna start with our create trip modal. So what I actually have to do is create a new view here, which is going to be this create trip for now. We can always rename this later on and it's gonna be a scrollable view as well. And what I'll do here is enable the top app bar. And if I right click on this expression here and clear it out, then I can just write in here what I want the header bar to say. And the only thing that I'll do here is I'll just create one text element to act as a label for our title input. And I'll add the input itself as well. So this will be, if I clear out the placeholder text, this will be our input title. And I'm gonna leave this for now. We're gonna come back and finish off the design here in a subsequent lesson. But for now, all I wanna show you is how we actually trigger this view as a modal. So what we do is on the element that we want to launch this view, we're going to add a workflow. And the action that we're looking for is under navigation, go to view. And this is where we then choose how we wanna to navigate to this view. So of course, if you remember in the last lesson, we've got the option of a stack or a modal. In this case, we're gonna do it as a modal. And now we choose what view we want to open as a modal, which of course is the create trip view. And how this looks if we go and we test this is when we click on our plus icon here, you can see that that view is now opening as a modal, which we can, if we grab the top of the view, actually slide down with our finger. Now back inside of the create trip view, you'll notice that we actually have the back button setting enabled. However, we don't see a back button on our modal and that's because the back button only appears when you navigate to a view within a stack. But what we can actually do is create our own close button for this modal. So I can add here either a leading button or a trailing button to the app bar. And I'll add a trailing button here. And what that's gonna do, if I set the label here to be let's say cancel and the color can just be text. You can see that that's just going to add now a button on the right side of our app bar title. So that's what's meant by trailing. It's coming after everything else in this app bar. Leading is coming in first before everything else. So we could add a leading one as well, just to show you what that looks like. And there you have it. The back button on this view won't appear if we navigate to this view as a modal. So this is how realistically it would look. Uh, we'll just get rid of this leading button as well. And then on our cancel button, we can actually add our own workflow here explicitly to hide the modal. And we simply do that by going under navigation, go to previous mobile view. That is just going to hide this modal. So if I go back into Bubble Go and try to refresh the preview by shaking my phone, uh, you'll see I'm not actually able to view that reload button. Uh, so what you actually have to do is close the modal first, then give your phone a shake, and then you'll see that context menu pop up. So let's test this again. I'm gonna open up the modal. I can still drag from the top, but I can also hit that cancel button to just close it with one tap. So we're gonna flesh out the rest of this form in the next lesson, but I want us to get onto showing our sign up form here in a stack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new view here called sign up. I'm gonna set this to be not scrollable for reasons that will be apparent in just a moment. And we're gonna design this form properly in the next lesson. For now, I'm just gonna add a group onto the page, which is gonna be our group form, and just put a couple of inputs in there to sort of suggest at what is coming. So this is gonna be our email input, 
and I'll add another one underneath for our password. And then the only other thing that I wanna do here, if I collapse this group form, is just add a button onto the view, which we'll label with sign up. And then this is the reason why I wanted this to be a not scrollable view is because I want this button to be locked down the bottom of the view. And I can do that with a not scrollable view by setting the layout to be space between. And that is then gonna push whatever elements are inside of this view to opposite ends of the view, assuming that there's only two elements within this space between layout. If I was to add another one, it would just hang out here in the middle. And then all I'm gonna to do to navigate to this signup view is from our main homepage, is I'm going to change the workflow which is currently attached to this button. So I can view that workflow that already exists by just hitting edit workflow with the button selected. That's just gonna take me as a shortcut straight to the workflow in question. And now rather than us using this go to tab action, which I'm gonna delete by clicking on these three dots and going delete action, I'm actually gonna add a new action, which is gonna be under navigation, go to view. And this time, of course, we're gonna be navigating in a stack, not a modal. And the target view is going to be sign up. And so what this looks like now is I can hit get started and I'm gonna open up that sign up view in the stack. And if I actually drag with my thumb here from the left side of the screen, see how I'm sliding off the top card in the stack, or rather the top view in the stack. That's something that's only possible with stack navigation. I can also let the user go back to the previous view using a back button. If I enable the top app bar, then that back button here will become automatically visible. Now note that's gonna to default to showing the title of the previous view in the stack. So of course the home view, but you can override that label by ticking this checkbox and just having that be whatever you want. And while we're here, let's just replace this title by right-clicking, clearing it out, and say something like create your account. There's a little bit more of a clear call to action. And now let's see when we navigate to the sign-up view in the stack, see our title sitting at the top and our overridden back button there as well. So we've got some basic navigation structure. In the next lesson, we're gonna learn how do we build a form form that looks good and that's functional. And we're going to do that for both our sign up form and our create trip form.